We bought this old Kodak Retinet 1B in April 2019 with a mixed lot. We've got 15 old cams and speed lights for 29 US dollar. Price per piece 1.9 US dollar. Kodaks in this condition are sold on eBay about 25 to 50 dollars. The old selenium exposure meter worked when we unboxed the Kodak. Astonishing. Because these old exposure meters often were exhausted within some years. In the 1960s when these cameras were made and popular the cameras were expensive. Everyone wanted to protect the camera against damage and bought a leather case. To handle the Kodak with this harness is comfortable as making sex with chastity belts. To put in the 35mm film you have to unscrew the leather case. This screw fits into the camera and it has also a female thread to fit to a tripod mount screw. To insert the 35mm film you have to pull out the rewinder. The rewinder is stiff today and so it was when this camera was new. The film goes into the compartment on the left. Then you have to straighten it out to the taking reel on the right. And this is the wrong way to do it. Guide the film smooth to the left. Press one finger on the film cartridge at the right. Actuate the film transportation lever once. Shut the camera's back door. Operate the film transportation lever twice because the first inches of the film were exposed to the light and are unusable. Now you are ready to go. A film transportation lever at the camera's bottom isn't great, but a lot of manufacturers in the 60s had another opinion. This is the way the Kodak has been operated in the 60s on holidays and family celebrations. Pull it out of its leather bag, take it to your eyes, and make an image. Be frustrated because your fingers won't find the film transportation lever at the camera's bottom. A lever at the camera's top at the right is easier to handle but Kodak had another opinion in those days. And here you can see the leather harness and its straps in action. They are in the condition as the previous owner sold the Kodak. Very annoying and disturbing. This is how to do fast shootings with the old Kodak. The frame rate is as fast as your fingers are. But fast shooting wasn't an issue in the 60s. Cameras like this Kodak were bought to capture mama in front of the Pisa or Eiffel Tower and papa sleeping in the beach chair. And now the specs. The Kodak Retinet 1B was manufactured in Germany and fitted with Rodenstock Rearmor 45mm lens. At the time as the Kodak was produced a 2.8 lens was on the top to shoot in low light conditions. The lens is built into the camera. It has symbols to make shooting easy for unexperienced customers. The lens has also a distance scale. The Kodak Retinet 1B has an exposure meter and therefore it was on the top of the line in its heydays. In those days the majority of the consumer cameras came without an exposure meter. On the left side of the front there is a plug to connect speed lights cables and on top there is a hot shoe to connect speed lights. The Kodak Retinet 1B was able to use the common bulb flashes and modern electronic speed lights. This was of great advantage against competitors in the consumer segment. The built-in leaf shutter has speeds from 1 500 to 1 15 seconds in bulb. That's okay. In those days the ISO 100 film was standard. Distance, ISO, shutter speed and aperture have to be set with the ring around the lens. The distance ring works smooth and fine. The others are very stiff. Maybe the age of this camera makes them a little bit stiffer, but they didn't run much smoother in the 60s. Soon as possible we will take some images with the Kodak and present them in our channel. We will also present the Kodak Retinet 1A. Another cam of the mixed lot but with a broken viewfinder. Perhaps we will disassemble the camera and try to repair the viewfinder if it is possible and show the disassemblement in an upcoming video.